my name is Sam Kitten. My student number is T00698764. This is Ro. She's an unspayed female. She's about a year and a half. We're going to be doing the vaginal cytology uh, with Ro here today. So I'm going to start by doing a prep. So I'm going to take my gauze here. Everything I'm using here is sterile, as indicated for the assignment instructions. So I'm going to take some of my gauze here, and I'm going to take this, which is our chlorhexidine, 4% antiseptic. And then I'm going to ask Dr. Jones, who's my clinical mentor and will be helping today with the video, to place Rick Rogue in a standing position. Now we're going to take a look at her vagina here. This is the area where we're going to be prepping. Her hair is fairly short, so we don't need to be shaving that down today. And I'm going to do a gentle prepping here. As instructed, I'm going to do three preps. So that's one. I'm going to open my sponge that I have here. sterile sponge. And I can use a sterile sponge here for some of the water because we have to do a rinse in between each of our preps. So I'm just going to rinse here. Some more gauze and some more chlorhexidine, four percent. Come back over here and do another prep. And I need to grab another sponge to do another rinse. And a final rinse. Be sure to be very gentle back here too to ensure I'm not irrita irritating anything. Okay. So now we've prepped the area. So I will need a sterile swab. And I will use this autoscope piece as a spectrum to open this. We also need some sterile lube on the area for sure. So we will use a little bit more of this gauze here. And then we place the lube on our sterile gauze, if the lube will cooperate and come out of here. There we go, so we got lots of lube there as you can see. So I'm going to take this and really lube this up. We may have a little bit too much in there, so I'm going to use a little bit more sterile gauze. Just take a little bit of it off. 
As you can see, we still have a fair bit of it on there though. And then we're gonna place this and we'll insert the swab here. I also have my ceiling. So before I actually place this, I'm going to want to use some of the saline and I will wet the lips of her vagina. So she's just getting a bit of a flush here right now? Yeah. So it's just the distal vulva, it's not the not the anterior vagina or the vestibule of the vagina, Correct. obviously. Yes. And I think an important thing to know is after you've done your prep, it's a two person job. So what you don't want is the dog sitting down. Absolutely. Um, after you've done your prep. Absolutely. Um, so have someone just have a hand under her tummy and then we're good to go. Okay. So we want to keep this swab sterile, so it's... Yeah, but well, let's open this ahead of time, so we're not... Because you're going to need both your hands. I think you just pull that. There you go. Yeah, perfect. So we'll oh, leave that in there. Exactly. So it's still going to stay sterile. And I'm going to have to part her lips of her vagina here to get in there. Her vulva, yeah. So we're going to gently position and, and move upwards up in that direction right. with this. And then while you're holding it, while you're holding it up there, you'll feel it, you'll feel some resistance because you'll only be able to go in maybe a couple of centimeters. Right. And then, then you'll need to reach for your swab. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the swab goes up so it's, and in. It's going to go dorsally first. Yeah. That's it. She might push a little bit. So now you need to lift everything up at a 45. Remember, lift everything up and yep. then advance your swab in higher. Like lift it up higher. Right. Lift your swab up higher too. I'm getting some resistance here. Mm -hmm. So you need to lift it up. Okay. Lift it up. 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 Okay. More. No, up. Up, up, up. That's it. Now I finish your swab. Okay. Okay. And do some rotating there. Good. And now I'll get you to make your pull your swab out. There you go. Yeah, you want to pull your swab out. Good. Excellent. Okay. So I'm going to roll it on our slide here. So hold it closer to the actual, take your fingers and your right hand and hold it closer to the swab. Okay. Yeah, you, so you put a little bit of pressure on that, right? Just bend the swab gently as you gently roll it. That's it. Okay, good. And, and stop the video for a minute.